بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين ما بعد uh, so we continue with reading into the chapter قول قول المحدث حدثنا واخبرنا وانبانا the saying of the muhaddith the one who narrates a hadith uh, that he says حدثنا او اخبرنا او انبانا all of them with the same meaning, meaning narrated to us. And we saw, we mentioned last week, the uh, differences of opinion or the two positions concerning uh, these statements. We said that Al Bukhari, Rahimahullah, Imam Al Bukhari in this Kitab, Kitab Al Iman, eh, sorry, Kitab Al Ilm, from his Kitab, Kitab Al Sahih, Kitab Al Sahih, uh, how with him these statements are one and the same. And we saw how Al-Bukhari, he brought a number of ta'aliq, a number of uh, narrations wherein he, yeah, he didn't bring the full chains of narration, but he mentions the Sahabi who narrated the hadith, just the Sahabi, or he mentions the Tabi'i, the one who narrated from the Sahabi, um, without mentioning the full chain. And likewise, just mentioning uh, the uh, term or the expression that the Sahabi he used when narrating the hadith, such as, Sami'atu or Haddathana. Naam, uh, or Fima Yarwihi and Rabbi. Yani we see that Al Bukhari he brings here various ways in how the Sahaba would transmit the hadith. And as we mentioned with Al Bukhari, these are all one and the same. The hadith which is Musnad within this chapter, the hadith where he brings he brings the full chain and through which he seeks to use as a proof, uh, was that hadith wherein the Rasul Sallallahu he said Inna min ash-shajri shajara. Inna min ash-shajri shajara. La yasqutu warquha. Indeed, from the trees there is a tree which la yasqutu warquha. Its leaves do not fall. Wa innaha mathal al-Muslim. And indeed, it is the example of the likeness of the Muslim. Fahadithuni ma hiya. And so, tell me and inform me which tree is that, or is it? Fawqa al-nas fi shajr al-bawadi. So the people began to mention, and it occurred to them that it was yeah, and it's certain trees, and they mentioned the certain trees uh, of the desert. وقال عبد الله رضي الله عنه and عبد الله ابن عمر رضي الله عنهما he said ووقع في نفسي أنها النخلة and it occurred to me that it was a date palm tree. فاستحيت ثم قالوا حدثنا ما هي يا رسول الله قال هي النخلة and so Abdullah bin Umar he mentioned how it occurred to him that it was the date palm tree which the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was referring to that the date palm tree is the likeness of the Muslim however I was too shy I was shy to mention anything and then they said tell us O Messenger of Allah which tree is it to which the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he said هي النخلة it is the date palm tree. So that is the hadith within this chapter, the hadith, hadith which is Musnad, the hadith which he brings with its chain. Uh, and we continue with the explanation of Sheikh Zayd al Madhali rahimahullah, for those who are following on page 29, uh, يعني, uh, halfway through that page, the Sheikh he mentions the hadith ibn Umar radiallahu anhuma, that in this hadith, inna min shajri shajara, la iskutu barquha, to the end of the hadith. The Sheikh he says that these those who were present Ashkala alayhim al Jawab. Ashkala alayhim al Jawab the answer to that question which the Rasul uh, posed to them. It was difficult for them to answer. They didn't know the answer. Now, which tree is the likeness of the Muslim? They couldn't answer that. Wa fil qawm ibn Umar radiallahu anhuma. But amongst them was Abdullah ibn Umar. وَهُوَ مِنْ الْأَذْكِيَاءِ And he was from the intelligent ones. He was dhaki. He was intelligent. وَقَعَ فِي نَفْسِهِ بِأَنَّهَا النَّخْلَةِ And he, it occurred to him that it was a nakhla. And we don't have here present in this chapter the various wordings that have come concerning this hadith and this particular incident. Um... 
there is within one of the chains, within one of the wordings, that the Rasul Sallallahu they brought to him the Jumar, the Jumar, and he was eating from the Jumar. And the Jumar, my brothers, is basically the hearts of palm. The hearts of palm. The hearts of palm is basically any palm tree. There are different types of palm trees, as you know. Many hundreds of types of palm trees. They all have something called the hearts of palm, which is like the essence. It's at the yeah, any top of the, pa the palm tree, the very top. It's like the, the essence of the palm tree. And yeah, any, when, you get, when you do away with the, the bark and the, yeah, any, the, 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 the trunk and so on, and the fiber that surrounds the, yeah, any, the leaves, if you do away with all of that, they get to that which is called the hearts of palm. The hearts of palm. And there's something which is edible. Something which is edible. And you actually find it in the supermarkets. Something which is edible. Not the hearts of palm of, of the date palm tree, but other hearts of palm. Um, and as we mentioned that the Rasul was eating this Jummar because it's edible. And it has many nutritional benefits, many vitamins and, yeah, and it's, very, it's extremely good for an individual. And health wise. And so the Rasul was eating this Jummar and then he asked this question. Then he asked this question. It didn't occur to any of them that this is it's the date palm tree. And because the Rasulullah was eating from the Jummar, from the date palm tree. Uh, but Ibn Umar, it occurred to him because he was from the Adhkiya. He was from the Adhkiya. Nah. Um, and so he, he said, it occurred to me that it was a Nakhla. That's what I was thinking of. But uh, I was too shy. I was too shy to mention anything because, again, from the incident, if we gather all the narrations together, we see that the reason why he was shy was because his father, Amr ibn Khattab anhu, was present, and likewise Abu Bakr Siddiq was also present, and he was too shy to mention anything in front of them, or yani, to speak above them, with them being uh, yani, the elders. Now, and so the Shaykh, he continues and he says, لا يسقط ورقها وكلها وكلها منافع this date palm tree, the, the leaves don't fall, as we know. It lives a very long time and the leaves don't fall. In fact, and we mentioned this in khutbah that we gave recently concerning this hadith, that the date palm tree, you see how it grows, that there's a fiber that wraps around each leaf as it grows. A fiber, subhanAllah, that, that wraps itself around as it grows and it keeps up the leaves. Because yani, the leaves are very heavy. Yani, they will just fall off because of how heavy they are. But the, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made it so that as this tree grows, this nakhla, as it grows, there's a fiber that wraps around it. And this fiber is used, again, kullaha manafi, all of it is beneficial, this date palm tree. They use the date palm tree, everything about it, they use it. Yeah, and even, even the, the dates as we know, and the dates, and again we we'll mentioned some of these benefits at the end, at the end of this uh, explanation of the sheikh, yeah, and in additional point, as, as, as additional points to what the sheikh mentions. Um, but as we know, from the date palm trees, they, 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 they give fruit to dates. And these dates, either they are rotob or either they are tamar. Rotob being the moist dates, dates, uh, uh, fresh moist dates, and tamar being those dry dates. And the dates is a fruit which lasts for an extremely long time. And it keeps for an extremely long time, it doesn't go bad. In fact, there is, not, there is not known another tree which gives fruit. To, and gives yani, fruit to, um, or bears fruits which keep as long as the dates. And they keep for a very long time. That's why it's, it's referred to as a survival food. Yani, you can keep them with you, take them with you when you travel. You don't need to refrigerate them. They'll, st they'll keep, for, yani, they'll stay and keep for a, a, a long duration. And many other benefits which we did mention, uh, however, yani, um, as we said, we'll make mention of them at the end of the explanation of the Sheikh, and if the Sheikh doesn't mention them uh, himself. And so the Sheikh has mentioned كل, the, 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 the date palm tree, all of it is beneficial. You can benefit from, from the tree uh, in every way. Through its branches, you benefit from its branches, the branches with its, with its clusters. They, 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 they benefit from that. The people benefit from that. Wabi leafiha, that's the fiber. The leaf is, is fiber. 
they, 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 they use the fiber um, and it's, you know, the dates that are moist and the dates that are dry benefit from all of them and from, from, from the date palm tree they use the trunk uh, as wood and to, make, to, make, to make furniture uh, they, use, they use it to build uh, build, uh, build, even build some of their some of their houses, like you know, to use them as planks and so on. They use the the, the, the trunk and the tree itself and, and everything from the from the tree, the, the, the branches, the fiber. They, they weave from these things and they, they they make baskets and bags and so on, sacks and all of these things. Um, so it's benefited in every single way. It's benefited from in every single way. Now, uh, so the sheikh he says all of it is beneficial. Wafi hal جنى ثمرها وفي غير ذلك يعني uh, it is beneficial when the date palm tree when it um, when it harvests and, and, and gives its fruits uh, and likewise even other than that والمسلم كذلك مستسلم لله منقاد له لا يفقده لا يفقده الله لا يفقده الله حيث أمره the Muslim is the same. He's beneficial in every single way. Ben, yani, he, 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 a person benefits from the Muslim in every single way. Just as you benefit from the date palm tree. The one who is Muslim lillah, the one who submits to the will of Allah, to the Tawheed of Allah, the one who complies to Allah, the one who... Yani, um, yani Allah doesn't see him as uh, one who leaves off that which he commands him with. وَلَا يَرَاهُ حَيْثْ حَرَّمَ عَلَيْهِ and likewise, he doesn't see him, Allah doesn't see the Muslim uh, as one who um, yani, fallen into that which Allah has forbidden him from and made haram upon him. وَإِنْ وَقَعَتْ مِنْهُ مُخَالَفَةً مِنْ تَقْصِيرٍ فِي وَاجِبٍ أَوْ وَقُوعٍ فِي مُحَرَّمٍ رَجَعَ تَائِبًا مُسْتَجْفِرًا مُنْكَسِرًا بَيْنَ يَدَيْ رَبِّهِ And if there was to occur from him some mukhalafa, some, some opposition, yani, to the commands of Allah, to the prohibitions of Allah, and if he falls into haram, he falls into something of opposition uh, to Islam, from taqseer, falling short, uh, concerning the wajibat, the obligations, or he falls into haram, to that which is muharram, he turns back to Allah, repenting, mustaghfiran, seeking forgiveness from Allah, munkasiran, bayna yaday rabbi, and he humbles himself before Allah, and with all humiliation, he's he humbles himself before Allah. وَقَدْ وَعَدَ اللَّهُ عَزَّ وَجَلْ الْمُذْنِبِينَ التَّائِبِينَ بِالتَّوْبَةَ عَلَيْهِمْ And Allah has promised those who sin, the muthnibin, those who perform the noob. التَّائِبِينَ, those who repent, He has promised them with tawbah, at tawbah alayhim, that He will uh, accept their repentance. بَلْ وَتَبْدِيلْ سَيِّئَاتِهِمْ حَسَنَاتٍ Rather, Allah has promised them that He will change their siyyat, their evil deeds, to good deeds. Subhanallah. Blessing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that He, those who repent to Him sincerely, that He will change their evil deeds to good deeds. What more do you want than that? Subhanallah. Allah will change the bad deeds that you did to good deeds. كَمَا فِي قَوْلِهِ عَزَّ وَجَلْ إِلَّا مَنْ تَابَ وَآمَنَ وَعَمِلَ عَمَلًا صَالِحًا فَأُولَٰئِكَ يُبَدِّلُ اللَّهُ سَيِّئَاتِهِمْ حَسَنَاتِ وَكَانَ لَهُمْ غَفُورًا رَحِيمًا Except for those who repent and believe and work righteous deeds, good deeds, فَأُولَٰئِكَ يُبَدِّلُ اللَّهُ سَيِّئَاتِهِمْ حَسَنَاتِ Then Allah will change their evil deeds and bad deeds into good deeds. And indeed Allah is all forgiven and merciful. وَقَالَ عَزَّ الشَّعْنُ And likewise the saying of Allah, وَإِنِّي لَغَفَّارٌ لِمَنْ تَابَ وَآمَنَ وَعَمِلَ صَالِحًا ثُمَّ اَحْتَدَى and indeed, I shall forgive and I will forgive the one who repents and believes and works righteous deeds. And then he remains upright and guided. He remains upright. So the Muslim yani is in a good situation, an extremely good situation. Because because he knows Islam, he knows his he knows his religion, he knows his Islam, he knows what Islam is about, he knows the rulings of Islam. Now, and he he actualizes that and he and he puts that into practice through action. 
فإن حصل شيء من تقصير في مفروض أو تقصير في واجب أو 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 ارتكاب لمحرم سرع وبادر إلى التوبة. And if there occurs from him something from deficiency, falling short concerning the obligations, the furud, and likewise the wajib, similarly meaning the 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 the, the mafrud, that which is obligated, that which is wajib, if there occurs from him some, from him something from uh, shortcomings in the wajibat and obligations, or he carries out something which is haram, then he hastens, rushes to tawbah. Imtithal ni amrillah. يعني in compliance to the command of Allah and ورغبة في إنجاز الوعد الرباني الذي سبق ذكره and likewise desiring he has that رغبة and the desire that the وعد of Allah the وعد الرباني that divine promise from Allah سبحانه وتعالى is fulfilled and that he achieves that or يعني he acquires that promise from Allah that Allah fulfills that promise towards him نعم uh, that promise which has preceded, which 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 uh, has preceded in the, in, the, in the verses that were mentioned. وَالَّذِي ذَكَرَهُ بِقَوْلِهِ And likewise, that promise which Allah mentioned with His statement, يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا تُوبِي إِلَى اللَّهِ تَوْبَةَ النَّسُوحَةِ All you who believe, repent to Allah with a tawbah and a, and, a, and a repentance which is nasuha, which is يعني, pure and sincere. Now. وَعْدَهُمْ بِتَكْفِيرِ السَّيِّئَاتِ وَدُخُولِ الْجَنَّاتِ As Allah promised them with wiping away their sins, expiating their sins for them, for them, from them, and entering them into paradise. بَلْ وَأَثْنَى, وأثنى اللَّهِ تَبَرَكُ وَتَعَالَى عَلَى مَنْ سَقَطُوا فِي الذُّنُوبِ هِينَ غَرَّهُمْ بِاللَّهِ الْغُرُورِ Rather Allah has praised and extolled, praised uh, those who when they fall into sin, and after they fall into sin, yani, due to them being deceived away from Allah by whatever uh, deceived them, those things that deceive them, Allah uh, praise them, um, yani, those who fall into the sins, ثُمَّ تَذَكَّرُوا وَقُفَهُمْ بَيْنَ يَدَيْ اللَّهِ وَمُجَازَاتِهِمْ عَلَىٰ أَعْمَالِهِمْ فَاسْتَكْفَرُوا لِذُنُوبِهِمْ وَتَرَكُوا الْمَعْسِيَةِ وَأَقْبَلُوا عَلَىٰ الطَّاعَةِ and Allah praise those who, and they, once they, if they fall into sin, and they are deceived by Allah by whatever deceives them and they end up falling into sin, then they remember their standing before Allah and the fact that they will be rewarded for their actions. Then at that point, they seek forgiveness for their sins and they leave and they abandon those sins. And they turn to obedience. كَمَا وَصَفَ Allah. Al-Muttaqeen biqawli Just as Allah, He described the Muttaqeen, those who have taqwa of Allah and fear of Allah, He described them with His saying, وَالَّذِينَ إِذَا فَعَلُوا فَاهِشَةً أَوْ ظَلَمُوا أَنفُسَهُمْ ذَكَرُوا اللَّهِ فَاسْتَكْفَرُوا لِذُنُوبِهِمْ Those who, if they perform fahisha, yani illegal sexual intercourse, that's the meaning here, fahisha, أَوْ ظَلَمُوا أَنفُسَهُمْ Or they wrong themselves. ذَكَرُوا اللَّهِ They remember Allah after doing so. And then they seek forgiveness for their sins. وَمَنْ يَكْفِرُ الذُّنُوبَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ And who, who is there that forgives sins except for Allah? وَلَمْ يَصِرُوا عَلَى مَا فَعَلُوا وَهُمْ يَعْلَمُونَ And they do not persist in continuing with those sins whilst they know. أُولَئِكَ جَزَاءُهُمْ مَغْفِرَ مِنْ رَبِّهِمْ وَجَنَّاتٌ تَجْرِي مِنْ تَحْتِ الْأَنْهَارِ For them and for those, their reward is maghfira, forgiveness from their Lord and Gardens under which rivers flow, خالدين فيها, abiding therein forever. ونعم ونعم عجر العاملين. And how excellent is the reward of the doers, meaning the doers of righteous actions. Now, فالحمد لله الذي كلفنا فيسر وسحل ورحمة بعفنا. So the Sheikh he says, and he gives thanks to Allah. All praise belongs to Allah, the one who, يعني he. Um, commissioned us with worship and obligations uh, but at the same time he made it easy similar meaning yani he made it, he made it easy and yani he he was merciful towards our weakness the daf that we have the weakness that we have so he opened for us the door of 
tawbah of repentance. Yani that door which does not that door which do, which does not close up until the sun rises from it. And the Shaykh will mention the hadith. كما ثبت ذلك عن النبي عن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم as has been established as that has been established from the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم فيما رواه الطبراني that which الطبراني he 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 mentioned in his book of hadith. إن للتوبة بابا عرض ما بين مصرعي ما بين المشرق والمغرب لا يغلق حتى تطلع الشمس من مغربها that for توبة for repentance there is a door عرض ما بين مصرعي ما بين المشرق والمغرب يعني the width of that which is between the two leaves of the door the leaf of a door when they say leaf of a door a door is يعني it's referring to the to the to the, to the um, يعني to the to the panel of a door, and a door can have two panels, as we know, it can be any double, uh, double side, uh, double, uh, يعني a door which has two doors, double doors, يعني uh, not just one door, but two. Uh, and so the width of these two doors is that is the same distance as that which is between the east and the west. This is the meaning here of this hadith. لا يغلق and it doesn't close. This door does not close up until the sun rises from the east. Now, for the maqsood, أن المسلم محبوب عند الله تبارك وتعالى وأنه على خير وفي خير. That's from the west. نعم, from the from the from the west. نعم, from the west. من مغربها from the west. نعم. For the maqsood, أن المسلم محبوب عند الله. And so the intent here, what the Sheikh is trying to mention, is that the Muslim is beloved to Allah. And he is upon goodness. And he is in a good situation, in a good, يعني he is in good circumstances. Because he is aware of the rulings of his Islam and that which يعني Islam necessitates. خيرة للناس في التكاليف الشرعية يفعلون ما يشاءون ويتركون ما يشاءون and he knows he knows that there is no choice for the people the people have no choice لا خيرة the people have no choice it's not up to them يعني as it relates to the uh, legislative obligations the obligations in the شريعة that the people do as they as they wish and they leave whatever they wish. And he knows that this, that's not the case. La. And then the Shaykh, he mentions the, the verse, ma kana lahum al khira. Allah mentioned that they have no choice in the matter. They have no choice. Bal alayhim al wafa bil amana wal ahd alladhi ukhida alayhim. But rather, yani what is upon them is that they fulfill the trust and the covenant which was taken from them. Naam. Wa an yaqumu bi awamir illa imtithalan وَيَجْتَنِبُ الْمَحَارِمُ كَذَلِكَ And that they come with the obligations, carry out the, the commands of Allah, يعني, in compliance to that which Allah has commanded him with, and uh, that they stay away from the muharim, those things which are haram, likewise. لَأَنَّ ذَلِكَ مُوجِبْ لِرِضَى اللَّهِ تَبَرَكُ وَتَعَالَى وَسَبَبٌ فِي دُخُولِ فِي جَنَّتِهِ أَلَّتِي عَدَّهَا لِأَوْلِيَاهِ الْمُتَّقِينَ now, because this necessitates the rida of Allah, the pleasure of Allah, it brings about the good pleasure of Allah. Tabaraka wa ta'ala, and likewise is a reason and a sabab and a means for him to enter Allah's Jannah. It's a means for him to enter into his Jannah, into his paradise, which he has prepared for awliya'ihi al muttaqin for his uh, God fearing and for those uh, awliya and those. Uh, allies of his who have taqwa wa hizbihi al muflihin and the party of Allah who was who, who was successful. But in the hadith, thana ala al haya. Likewise, in this hadith is a praise, yani of al haya, of shyness. And the Sheikh is taking that from where? Which part of the hadith is the Sheikh taking that from? From the statement of Ibn Umar radhiyallahu anhu where he said that I was too shy to mention yani the fact that he thought 
it was the date palm tree. Now, and so the Sheikh he says, in this hadith is a praise of this shyness. Well I can feel hudud is shara. However, shyness which is in within the boundaries of the Sharia. Within the boundaries of the Sharia. Because we're going to see and the Sheikh will mention yani that which his father, Amr anhu, that which he said to him. Yani when he when he informed his father that he knew the answer. Now وَهُوَ كَمَا قَالَ النَّبِيُّ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمُ وَالْحَيَاةِ شُعْبَةٌ مِنَ الْإِيمَانِ And it is as the Rasul صلى الله عليه وسلم he said that shyness is a branch from Iman, the hadith. لَكِنْ فِي مَوْضِعِ However, in its place. يعني shyness is to be put in its place, in its correct place within the boundaries of the Sharia. وَعِنْدَمَا نَقُولْ فِي مَوْضِعِ And when we say this, when we say that shyness should be with it, يعني, in its place, then the Shaykh he says, because Talab al seeking knowledge, لا يجوز لأحد أن يستحيي من الجلوس في حلقات العلم. That it is not permissible for a person that he is shy within the gatherings and the sittings of knowledge, those circles of knowledge. وإن كان عند أصغر أصغر منه وعنده علم. Even if he is sat with someone who is younger than him, even if he is sat with someone, person sits in a circle of knowledge. And he sat before someone who is younger than him. And he himself has knowledge with him. The one who is sat. And he, 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 he shouldn't be shy from this. He should, he should not prevent him. Al Bukhari, likewise, he mentioned that a person will, true, will not truly be an alim and a muhaddith up until he sits with one who is above him in knowledge. One who is similar to him on the same level in knowledge. And likewise, when he, up until he sits with someone who is, who is يعني, lesser than him in, in knowledge. Now, so that's this additional point that Al-Bukhari, Al-Bukhari mentioned. فَعَلَيْهِ أَنْ يَجْلِسْ عِنْدَهُ لِيُفِيدَ مِنْ عِلْمِهِ And so upon an individual and upon the talib al-ilm, the student of knowledge is that he sits with him, that he benefits from his knowledge. وَلَا يَمْنَعُهُ الْحَيَاءِ فَيَتْرُكْ طَالِبَ الْعِلْمِ وَأَخْذَ الْفِقْ وَالْجُلُوسِ فِي مَجَالِسِ now, and it, this shyness should not prevent him from, from uh, taking knowledge from him, and it shouldn't prevent him to a point where now he, he, he doesn't take knowledge from him, uh, and yeah, he's taking understanding and fiqh from him, and it prevents him, the shyness ends up preventing him from sitting with him. Jannah, Because the circles of knowledge are gardens of Jannah, gardens of paradise. وَلِأَنَّ حَاجَتَهُ إِلَى الْعِلْمِ مَا سَهْ أَكْثَرْ مِنْ حَاجَتِهِ إِلَى الْمَأْكَلْ وَالْمَشْرَبْ وَغَيْرِ ذَلِكْ مِنْ مِنْ مُتَفَلِّبَاتِ الْجَسَدَ And also due to his haja and his need, his need toward that he has towards knowledge is مَا سَهْ It is dire. It is a dire need. More so than his need that he has towards food and drink and other than that from the Mutapallibat al jasad Other than that, from that which the body yani, uh, requests and the, and the needs of the body. وَحَكَذَا لَا يُجُوزْ لِأَحَدَ يَسْتَحِمْ مِنَ الْأَسْئِلَةِ الْمُتَعَلِّقَةِ بِالشِّعُونَ دِينِ لِأَنَّهُ إِنْ بَقِيَ مُسْتَحِيًا لَا يَسْأَلْ بَقِيَ عَلَى خَطَئٍ Because yani, a person, yani, it is not allowed for him, not permissible for him that he remains shy from asking questions which are connected to, to the affairs of his religion because if he was to do so if he was to remain shy and not ask then he would remain upon yani, error and the keys to knowledge is السؤال, asking قال الزهري رحمه الله ابن شحاب الزهري he said رحمه الله العلم خزائن وتفتحها المسألة. So this is the statement of Imam Zuhri. He said that knowledge is like a treasure box or a treasure house. وتفتحها المسألة. That which opens it is مسألة asking, questioning. That is what opens يعني that treasure box. وكان أصحاب النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم وكان أصحاب النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم من عظيم توقيرهم له يهابون أن يسألوه فيفرحون بالرجل أن يأتي 
أن يأتي من البادية فيسأل النبي فيسأل النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم عن عمور عن عمور يحتاجون إلى فهمها ليعلموها ويعملوا بها وينشرونها and the Sheikh he mentions that the companions of the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam due to the great respect that they had for him and the yani, the, 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 the respect that they had for him that they, they were afraid they were afraid from asking the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam however they would become pleased and they would rejoice when there would come a man from the desert one who would come and one who would ask now uh, one who would ask concerning the affairs of the religion which they were in need of understanding uh, that they may know the answers to uh, those, those questions that they had uh, and yani, that they may likewise act upon that and also spread that فَيَسْتَفِيدُونَ مِنْ ذَلِكَ عِلْمًا يُنِيرُ لَهُمُ الطَّرِيقَ and so they end up benefiting from that um, yani, from that knowledge and that knowledge as a result it lightens up the path for them فَابْنُ عَمَرْ رَضِيَ اللَّهُ عَنْهُمَا عَلِمَ جَوَابُ السُّؤَالِ عَلِمَ جَوَابُ السُّؤَالِ الْمَطْرُوحِ إبن عمر رضي الله عنه as we know رضي الله عنهما he knew the answer to the question the question which was posed to them and it occurred to him that it was the the nakhla as we know and it occurred to him the answer, he knew the answer إِلَّا أَنَّهُ رَأَى فِي الْقَوْمِ كِبَرَ الصَّحَابَةِ كَأَبِي بَكَرْ وَعَمَرْ وَأَمْثَالِهِمَا رِضْوَانُ اللَّهِ عَلَيْهِمْ أَجْمَعِينَ However, he saw amongst the people who were present with him, he saw the elders and the more senior sahaba such as Abu Bakr Siddiq and Amr and other than them رضي رضوان الله عليهم أجمعين فاستح فاستحى أن يتقدم على قبارهم. so he was shy he was shy يعني in proceeding over the their elders and his elders حتى يذكر أن أباه قال له لما أخبره but it is being mentioned as we said in in a wording of the hadith that his father عمر رضي الله عنه when Abdullah informed him that, it, that he knew the answer, that Umar said to him, رضي الله عنه, لو كنت قلتها لكان أحب إلي من كذا وكذا. يعني had you said it, had you said, يعني what you thought, and your, the answer that you had, had you said it, would it be more beloved to me than such and such and such and such? No. And so this shows to us also that as the Sheikh was say, saying, that shyness يعني, is within its place and it has limits. And so here, uh, Umar is showing to us and through this statement we see that it would, have been, it would have been better for him to say it, even though the elders were present and they didn't know the answer. That, يعني, that it's possible that the, the one who is younger, he has the knowledge and he has يعني, more knowledge in this particular matter than someone who is older and greater than him. However, يعني, shyness here is a blame with it and he should say it. نعم. لأن الإنسان يفرح أن يصيب صديقه صديقه الجواب الصحيح لا سيما الابن أو الأب. Because a person, يعني he becomes pleased when a friend of his, يعني if he's in a situation where there's something being asked and his friend, he comes with the correct answer. If you're a friend of his, you become pleased because he's your friend and you got it right. But especially when this individual is your son or your father and it's someone who is close to you uh, and when he gets the answer correct that this pleases a person and a person rejoices Again, a person he becomes pleased when, he, when someone who is close to him uh, he, he uh, agrees with the truth he says a correct word, a true word وَأَنْ يَرْتَفِعَ دَرَجَاتِ And that he, uh, yani his level is raised. In the Shaykh, he mentioned something within uh, the lecture itself, but wasn't transcribed here. And yani what the Shaykh was mentioning is how 
يعني when a person uh, he uh, a situation where a person his, his son gets an answer which is uh, correct he answers correctly and this pleases him and it causes him and he becomes pleased that his, his son is now raised and he becomes uh, the mustaw on the level of an alim and he learns and he he, he he acquires knowledge to the point where he's able to answer questions and so he reaches a level where he is a mustawa of, of the ulama and those who have knowledge and so on now of the hadith even dalil ala mashru'iyati tarh al-mas'ala tarh al-mas'ala inda al-haja inda al hajati ilayha ala talab al-ilm and likewise in this hadith is a proof of the legisla legislative um, nature of throwing questions throwing questions um, yani to the students whenever there's a need whenever there's a need meaning يطرح المعلم المسألة المهمة على طلابه that the teacher he he coins a, a, a question or throws a question um, yani an important question in an important matter he throws it to the students and he asks them لأغراض صحيحة yani for uh, correct reasons and um, for correct intentions from them, yani for the reasons why a person or a, or a muallim and a teacher may throw a question, put forward a question, is لِيَخْتَبِرَ مَعْلُومَاتِهِمْ That he may test their knowledge. That he tests the knowledge of the students. فَيَحْسُلْ عِنْدَهُ طُمَأْنِينَ And so then he's put to ease, he's tranquil with the fact that he knows that they understand. لِأَنَّهُمْ إِذَا عَلَّمُ النَّاسِ إِنْتَفَعَ النَّاسِ بِتَعْلِيمِهِمْ now, because if they were to go on to teach others and teach the people, then the people will uh, benefit from yani, the, the way that they learn, the fact that they learn um, correctly. Now, what is the importance of the And likewise, uh, the reasons why uh, uh, the teacher may put forward questions is due to the issue being important and the matter being important. أما النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم فهو المشرع للأمة بوحي بوحي من الله تبارك وتعالى والمعلم لهم والمبين لما أنزله الله عليهم. As for the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم, then he was مشرع يعني legislator. He was the legislator for the أمة يعني through revelation from Allah تبارك وتعالى and المعلم لهم. He was a teacher to them and المبين المبين like likewise he was one who uh, would uh, make clear and clarify to them that which Allah had revealed to them. وَأَنزَلْنَا إِلَيْكَ الذِّكْرَ لِتُبَيِّنَ لِلنَّاسِ مَا نُزِّلَ إِلَيْهِمْ وَلَعَلَّهُمْ يَتَفَكَّرُونَ And the saying of Allah in Surah Al-Nakhl, and we uh, reveal to you the reminder, we reveal to you, O Muhammad uh, the reminder that you may explain that and clarify that to the people, uh, yani that which has been revealed to them, uh, and that they may ponder and reflect. فطرح المسائل من المعلمين على المتعلمين لينظروا في مستوى في مستوى في مستواهم وما أحر وما أحرزوه من الفهم وهم يتعلمون الآن. So again, the reason for throwing questions on the, to, the, yani to the to the ground to the, to the, to, the, to the students, and yani when the teachers they do that to the to those who are learning. That is so that he may, that he and likewise they may look to their level, to their level of knowledge, and likewise, yeah, and to that which they have acquired from understanding, and have they understood, whilst they and yeah, learn that knowledge. How the shay mashru? Is something legislated? Walahu athar al hasana kathikat bin nafs wa hifd al masail al muhimma. Likewise, it has its, yeah, and positive effects. Such as a thiqa bin nafs, that a person becomes confident. A thiqa bin nafs, a person is confident, that he understands now. Uh, if, uh, the the mu'allim, if he was to ask the mut'allim, the learner, he asks him the question, he gets it right, he becomes more confident. He becomes confident that he has understood this. Now, yeah, and he, once he asks, answers correctly. And likewise, from the positive effects, is hifd al masail al muhimma, is preserving and memorizing uh, those important matters. عندما يكون السؤال والجواب والأخف والعطاء تفحم فحما على الوجه الحسن فيترتب على ذلك حسن العمل وصحته وصحته نعم 
And so, yani, when there's question and answers and giving and taking, then by way of this, yani, the correct understanding comes about in the, in the best of ways. And this brings about correct action, good actions, and yani, the sound nature of actions. وَكَذَلِكَ السُّؤَالَ مِنَ الْمُتَعَلِّمْ لِلْمُعَلِّمْ And likewise, when the student, when he asks the mu'allim, likewise, it is allowed for the student that he asks, and the one who's learning that he asks the teacher. وَالنَّظَرْ فِي الْمَسَائِلْ نَعَمْ وَعَرْضُهَا عَلَى الْمُعَلِّمْ أَوْ الْأَقْرَانِ Likewise, to look into يعني, matters and to display these matters, يعني, to the teacher, and likewise, الْأَقْرَانِ to one's peers, one's peers. Yani from, the, from the other students who are learning. كل ذلك نافع ومفيد. All of that is beneficial and it benefits others. Now, به تفهم تفاصيل الأحكام من الحلال وحرام من من حلال وحرام وغير ذلك. And by way of this, then those details of the rulings from halal and haram uh, are understood. And other than halal and haram, والذي يمنع من أسئلة المتعلم للمعلم ويكون مح محظورا هو السؤال الذي لا يكون الغرض منه صحيحا كسؤال التع كسؤال تعجيز وسؤال تعنت والذي يثير الجدل بين طلاب العلم بدون جدوى أو أو ثمرة يعني يرجى الانتفاع بها يعني that that those questions which are to be prevented or يعني which are not to be answered and when the student asks his teacher a question, those questions that the teacher will not answer, or uh, he prevents his student from uh, acquiring the answer to, uh, that is when um, the question has no uh, uh, sound uh, in goal or objective, and a correct reason to, uh, for asking that, that question. كسؤال تعجيز وسؤال تعنت Yani like the question when he asks about something which is impossible. Sometimes you get someone, a student who comes and asks about something which is not going to happen. So the question which is not possible. Yani what do you do if you're on the moon? Yani, <laughs> when, <laughs> which direction do you pray in? Yani the Adhan and you know, all these kind of things. Yani it's not possible. Yani is that going to happen really? Now, uh, so al and likewise, yani, uh, question by way which the one who's asking, he just seeks to quarrel, and he seeks to com confuse people. And like he, he seeks to spread yeah, any qu uh, argumentation amongst the students of knowledge, bidun jadwa, yeah, any questions which are useless, or have no benefit. Uh, now, benefit through which, yeah, any, or questions which, uh, yeah, any, through, or questions which it is hoped that they but uh, yani, uh, is some benefit uh, in, in, in answering them. Yani, he doesn't ask these type of questions. الحديث, likewise, in this hadith is the legislative uh, nature of yani, putting forward examples and proverbs and yani, uh, examples. Wallahu Azza wa Jal darab al amthal fi al Quran lil umur al adhima. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he put forward. In the Quran, uh, parables, examples, يعني, concerning important matters. في شأن التوحيد وشأن الشرك in the affair of Tawheed and in the affair of Shirk. ليعرف الناس or ليعرف الإنسان فضل التوحيد وجلالة قدره. نعم. So that an individual may know the virtues of Tawheed and likewise the magnificent station of it. وَيَعْرِفْ خَطْرِ الشِّرْكِ And likewise that he may know the danger of shirk. وَعَاقِبَةَ أَمْرِهِ And the end result of the one who falls into shirk. فَجَاءَتِ الْآيَاتِ فِي الْقُرْآنِ الْكَرِيمِ بِسِيغَةِ الْمَثَلِ فِي آيَاتِ مُتَعَدِّدَةِ And so they came verses in the Qur'an al-Kareem in the form of parables. Verses that are in the form of parables in the Quran. Now, in many verses, in a number of verses, 
كما قال عز وجل as Allah said in the Quran مثل الذين اتخذوا من دون الله أولياء كمثل الأنكبوت the example of those who take awliya and allies besides Allah is the example of the ankabut, the spider. Takhadat baytan, yani the spider which took for itself a home. Wa inna awhan al bayut la bayt al ankabut. Naam. Wa wa naam. La bayt al ankabut. And indeed, the the frailest of bayut of of uh, houses and homes is the house and the home of the spider. لو كانوا يعلمون if they but knew. فهذا مثل ضربه الله عز وجل ليتبين لعبادة الأصنام والأوثان أنهم ليسوا على شيء. And so this is a, prover- uh, um, a parable. This is a parable that Allah struck that he may explain to the worshippers of the statues and the idols, the worshippers of the asnam and the awthan, that they are not upon anything, any by way of their ibadah and their worship and their aqidah that they have. وَأَنَّهُمْ تَوَجَّهُوا بِعِبَادَتِهِمْ لِمَنْ لَا يَسْتَحِقْ مِنَ الْعِبَادَةِ شَيْئًا And that they have turned with their worship to those who do not deserve anything from worship. لأنه لا يجلب لنفسه ولا لغيره مصلحة ولا يدفع ضر لعجزه وضعفه. And that is because whoever they worship, whatever they worship from these idols, then يعني those idols and these individuals do not possess for themselves or for other for others. They cannot bring about for themselves and for others any مصلحة any benefit. And likewise, not able to ward off any harm due to his weakness, whoever they call upon an individual, yani due to his weaknesses and his inability, yani he's not able to do any of those things. As Allah Ta'ala, He said, Ya ayyuhan nas, duriba mathal, fastami'ula. O people, uh, a, a, a parable and an example has been struck and coined uh, for you. Fastami'ula. And so listen to it. Carefully. In the Ladina Tedaruna in Dunilla, Lan Yahluku, Lan Yahluku, Zubaba, Walla which Tamarula. Yani, indeed, those who you call upon, in the Ladina Tedarun, indeed, those who you call upon, besides Allah, cannot create a fly, even if they were all to come together in order to achieve that. Now. وَإِنْ يَسْلُبُهُمْ وَإِنْ يَسْلُبُهُمْ الذُّبَابِ شَيْئًا لَا يَسْتَنْفِذُوهُ مِنْهُمْ دَعْفَ الطَّالِبُ وَالْمَطْلُوبَ And if the fly was to يعني, snatch something, they would not be able to, they will have no power يعني, to release it from the fly, to, to get that from the fly. They won't be, even be able to catch the fly. دَعْفَ الطَّالِبُ وَالْمَطْلُوبَ and so the seeker and the and, and the sort are both weak. And yani, they have not made a rightful and just estimation of Allah. And so the Shaykh he says, in the fi hada al mathal fi kutbi tafsir yajid annahu bayanun wa tawjihun lil umma liyatawajjahu bi ibadatihim li khaliqihim wa bariihim. Aladim farada. بخلق بخلقهم وتكفل بأرزاقهم ويتصرف فيهم بالأحياء بالإحياء والإماتة والخوف والأمن والصحة والمرض والغنى والفقر وطول العمر وقصره. نعم. The Sheikh he says that whoever looks into this parable that Allah struck in the books of Tafsir, then he will find that this is an explanation and a يعني a giving of guidance. And direction to this ummah that they that they turn to Allah with their worship. They, they turn to their creator. And they direct their worship to their creator and their bari, their originator. The one who in Faradi bi khalqihim, the one who yani, alone, the one who himself alone 
he was the only one who created them and one who يعني, uh, took it upon himself to, to provide for them uh, نعم, والإحياء, and يعني, he administrates amongst them the giving of life the, the, the taking of life يعني, uh, the giving of, of, of fear and يعني, uh, likewise security good health and bad health, marath, sickness uh, يعني, الغنى, يعني, giving them uh, wealth and الفقر, likewise poverty uh, and the giving of a long life and likewise a uh, short, short life وكل شيء uh, who, يعني, and, يعني, everything, every single thing Allah is the one who administrates all of that and He is the one who deserves uh, to be worshipped هو الذي يستحق أن يعبد وحده دون سوى He is the one uh, who deserves to be worshipped alone uh, يعني, without having anyone besides Him that is worshipped وأما الذي لم يخلق ولم يرزق ولا يملك شيئا من التصرفات مما لا يقدر عليه إلا الله عز وجل فلا يستحق شيئا من العبادة As for the one who did not create, does not provide and doesn't possess anything from those tasarrufat, the administration of those things that were mentioned, those things which no one is able to do except for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then يعني, he is not deserving of anything from worship. ضعف الطالب والمطلوب as we heard in the verse before, the weak is the one who's, who, is, who seeks and the one who is sought. Now, that parable that was uh, mentioned uh, in the ayah, meaning, Sheikh, he says, the explanation of this is the abid and the ma'bud. Both the one, the one who commits shirk, yani with his worship, he is weak, the abid, the worshipper, and likewise the ma'bud, the one who he worships. Likewise, is weak. Kulluhum du'afa, all of them are weak. كما قال قال الله عز وجل as Allah he said يا أيها الناس أنتم الفقراء إلى الله O people you are in need of Allah والله هو الغني الحميد and Allah is الغني he is rich Allah is rich and الحميد worthy of our praise وإذ وإذ كان الأمر كذلك فيجب علي عليكم أن تتوجهوا بالعبادات كلها كلها المالية والبدنية له وحده دون سوى and so if this is the case, my brothers, then it is obligatory upon you to turn, to turn to him alone with يعني, your worship, whether that is worship by way of one's wealth or your worship of the body. All of that is to be directed to him alone and not to uh, any, any, anything else besides him. Because he is the one, because he is the one who is deserving of that. And the striking of examples in the Qur'an is many. وَمِنْهَا ضَرْبُ الْمَثَلِ لِلْدُّنْيَا وَحَقَارَتِهَا From them, the striking of the parable concerning this dunya, the life of this world. And حَقَارَتِهَا يعني it's, it's insignificance. وَسُرْعَةِ زَوَالِهَا Likewise, how quick this dunya will pass, the life of this world will pass. Now, قَالَ عَزَّ وَجَلْ Allah, the, the, the mighty and the majestic, he said, وَضْرِبْ لَهُمْ مَثَلَ الْحَيَاةِ الدُّنْيَا كَمَا إِنْ أَنزَلْنَاهُ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ فَاخْطَلَتَ بِهِ نَبَاتُ الْأَرْضَ يعني, Put forward to them the example of the life of this world. كَمَا إِنْ يعني, uh, uh, Give the example of the, of the life of this world. Put forward to them uh, يعني, the example of the life of, the, uh, of this world. It is like يعني, Water that comes from the sky, يعني, like the rain. فَاخْتَرْثَ بِهِ نَبَاتُ الْأَرْضِ يعني, Which the vegetation mingles with when the water comes onto the earth and drops onto the, to the earth. The vegetation, it mingles with it. Now, فَأَصْبَحَ حَشِيمًا تَدْرُوحُ الْرِيَاحِ وَكَانَ اللَّهُ عَلَى كُلِّ شَيْءٍ مُقَتَدِرًا يعني, It becomes fresh and green, that vegetation, but later it becomes dry and into broken pieces which the winds scatter now what can Allah ala kulli shayin muqtadira and Allah is able to do all things wa hakadha darab Allah azza wa jal 
المثل لأهل الإيمان بشجرة طيبة and likewise Allah he struck the example for the people of Iman the example of the people of Iman with that good tree بشجرة طيبة that good tree أصلها ثابت وفرعها في السماء يعني it's um, أصل and it's يعني um, its foundation is deeply rooted firmly grounded وفرعها في السماء and its branches are high into the uh, sky نعم وضرب لضدهم المثل and likewise Allah he, he, he struck a parable and an example of their opposite the opposite of Ahl al-Iman Allah struck an example likewise within the same surah surah Ibrahim uh, the example of their opposite نعم يعني the people of Kufr in his saying ومثل كلمة خبيثة كشجرة خبيثة إجا تثت من فوق الأرض إجا تثت من فوق الأرض ما لها من قرار the example of an evil word is that of an evil tree وجا تثت من فوق الأرض يعني which has been uprooted from the surface of the earth it has been uprooted from the, first, from the surface of the earth ما لها من قرار يعني it has no stability that is uh, يعني the, the ayat in Surah Ibrahim and Allah begins the, uh, the these two parables by saying ألم ترى كيف ضرب الله مثلا كشجرة طيبة كلمة طيبة كشجرة طيبة أصلها ثابت وفرعها في السماء تؤتي أكلها كل هين بإذن ربها ويضرب الله الأمثال للناس لعلهم يتذكرون uh, have, have you not looked to how Allah strikes ألم ترى كيف ضرب الله مثلا how Allah strikes a parable كلمة uh, طيبة يعني that of a good word which is like uh, the good tree and then يعني Allah mentions uh, these verses that we read out and it is mentioned that that good tree that is mentioned in this verse ألم ترى كيف ضرب الله مثلا كلمة طيبة كشجة طيبة that the good tree is that نخلة that we mentioned in this hadith that the good tree is that dead palm tree which has been mentioned in this hadith in this bab huh? the Rasul said inna minna shajri shajara indeed from the trees there is a tree la yasqut barquha its leaves do not fall hmm? its leaves do not fall wa innaha mathalul muslim and indeed it is the likeness of the muslim fahadithuni ma hiya that's the hadith of this bab so tell me and inform me what is that that tree and then the people they mention some trees but, there, but Ibn Umar he said it was a nakhla. When he was asked, he said, yes, it's the nakhla. And so the scholars, they mentioned that this is the, the tree that Allah is referring to in this verse. The nakhla. Far'uha asluha thabit. Yani its foundation is firm. And this is the Muslim. His foundations are firm. Yani his iman. What's the foundation of a Muslim? His iman, his aqidah, his tawheed. Firm on that. Doesn't let that go. Even if he falls in, as the Sheikh has been mentioned, if he falls into sins, if he falls into, if he falls short with regards to his obligations, his wajibat, maybe falls short, whatever. However, he turns to Allah, seeks tawbah, seeks forgiveness. But his asal is thabit. Hmm? His foundation is thabit, deeply rooted, firmly grounded. What's the asal? His tawheed. His tawheed. He doesn't compromise on the tawheed of Allah. Now. Now, وَفَرْعُهَا فِي السَّمَاءِ And its branches reach the sky. And so likewise with the Muslim, yani his, good, his good deeds, they reach the heavens, meaning they, they ascend up to Allah, and Allah accepts his good deeds. Now, we mentioned um, yani, uh, uh, other benefits concerning this ayah, these ayat, and this hadith in a khutbah that we gave. And some of those benefits that maybe uh, the sheikh uh, doesn't mention, then we can mention them at the end. Now, and so the Sheikh he mentioned after after uh, mentioning this verse, he then brings another verse. We'll end very shortly, Juan. وَضَرَبَ الْمَثَلَ لِبُطْلَانِ لِبُطْلَانِ أَعْمَالِ الْكُفَّارِ And likewise, Allah He took an example uh, in showing how the actions of the kuffar are nullified, how the actions of the disbelievers are nullified. قال تعالى Allah the Most High He said. مَثَلُ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا بِرَبِّهِمْ أَعْمَالَهُمْ كَرَمَاتِ Now, 
that the uh, example of those who disbelieve in their Lord, their actions are like ashes. اشتدت بها الريح في يوم عاصف يعني their actions are like ashes يعني on which the wind blows furiously on a stormy day في يوم عاصف on a stormy day لا يقدرون مما كسبوا على شيء يعني they will not be able to to get anything any benefit from that which they have earned from those actions which they did ذلك هو الضلال البعيد indeed that is a, stay, a strain uh, far away نعم والأمثال في القرآن الكريم والسنة المطهرة كثيرة جدا the أمثال and the parables examples that are given in the Quran are many and likewise in the Sunnah this hadith being one of them there are also examples parables in the Sunnah this is one of them and there's going to be going to see another one also from the Sunnah ونافعة لمن يعقلها and likewise they are benef- beneficial for the one who is able to understand these parables. وما يعقلها إلا العالمون. Allah mentions that none understands these parables except for the alimun, except for those who have been given knowledge, those who have knowledge. وكان بعض الصلف, we'll end with this, وكان بعض الصلف إذا قرأ المثل ولم يعرف مدلوله, مدلوله بكى. Some of the salaf. If they read an example, a parable in the Quran or in the Sunnah, and they didn't understand it, its meanings and that which it kind of it, it pointed towards, Baka, he would cry. And he would accuse himself, charge himself with being from those who have no knowledge and those who do not know. Istimbatan min qawlillahi azza wa jal, yani deriving that from the saying of Allah, wa tilka al-amthal nadribuha lil nas. Allah says in the Quran, and those are the parables that we strike for the people. That's the completion of the verse. And none understands them except for those who have knowledge. And مواعدهم وتوجيهاتهم لعموم الناس. And so, the Sheikh, he mentions that um, it is befitting for the students of knowledge specifically that they reflect and ponder uh, over the parables, uh, that they may look into their meanings, their vast meanings and their great meanings, and um, how, how, how much own and aid there is for the du'at, for those who call to Allah, those who busy themselves with, with, with da'wah, how much of an aid there is in these amthan, these uh, parables, yani in his da'wah, yani when he gives da'wah in him, when he admonishes the people, and when he uh, yani guides them, uh, how much of an aid there is uh, in those parables if he was to understand them. هذا وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين. نعم. So we'll continue بإذن الله تعالى with the completion of uh, يعني the explanation of the Sheikh still concerning this hadith. But the Sheikh he he brings another example, another parable from the Sunnah. Uh, and we will إن شاء الله تعالى finish that um, in the coming dars. نعم. زاكم الله خير.